All right, so today, guys, I'm trying a different section of Mill Creek. We're gonna see how this goes. I've had one section go halfway successful in about an hour or so of fishing. Uh, and I've fished another area at a different date earlier on in the year when it was still cold and caught me a nice little largemouth. But it's time to check another section and try some different baits and we'll see how it goes. Well, quite literally, the very first thing I did getting into the water was bust my rear end. It's a little slick on the side of the creek and uh, slid halfway down the bank, almost into the creek itself, but I'm just fine. Let's hope that's a good sign of good fishing to come. Got me a little one. Working hard. Come here now, man. All right. A little small mouth. So there are nice little small mouth in this creek. Look at this little guy. Little Mill Creek smallmouth. Gotta love it. Let's let him go. Cool. Just like that. So that guy was caught on this little Bobby Garland shad here on a 16th ounce. If I was smarter, I probably would have gone with the 32nd or 64th, but 16th worked, not complaining. colored orange just beautiful fish let's let him go off like a shot Look at that little guy. Nice little smallmouth, nice little creek smallmouth. Plenty happy, loving it. Let's let him go. I literally thought I was stuck. Literally.
makes you feel like you're out in the middle of nowhere, but you're not. Sad thing about fishing in Mill Creek, it's all the pollution, man. I didn't share it the other day, but when I was fishing the other day, I actually got stuck on what I thought was the bottom. And of course, walked up to it and found out that I was not stuck on the bottom. I was stuck on a engine block in the creek. As I'm walking by what seems to be bed pans, uh, you know, planters, there's fabrics and carpet and all kinds of crazy stuff in Mill Creek. If there was ever a creek that needed a clean up, it's this one. So that was a pretty good little fishing trip for a couple hours. Not too bad. Now I gotta go pick up my son from school. Uh, but I think it goes to show that, it, especially when creeks are concerned, you can go through sections and there'll be nothing. Um, and then you go through sections and you'll get smallmouth. Um, sunfish, gorgeous sunfish, goodness gracious. I wish I had some up close photos of those. I'll be better about my cameras in the future, but uh, I'm super happy with this. Uh, I know Mill Creek has a lot, a lot, a lot of potential. And I uh, really think that there are sections of it that are just loaded with fish, um, even though it's loaded with pollution. So uh, maybe I'll start uh, taking an extra trash bag with me and picking up some stuff on my way out uh, just to help with that. But uh, hopefully you would do the same. Uh, but great day fishing. Uh, got four good ones and super happy with that. I'll see you next time on 615 Fishing.